Hello and welcome to this hypnosis session aimed at helping you to reduce nail biting to stop biting your nails and the aim of this session is really so that you can finish this session when you finish it you can just feel confident in your own ability to know to really know that from this moment forward the idea of biting your nails is not even an option so only watch or listen to my sessions when you can safely close your eyes there may be background sounds my side or your side but it's fine because we don't need complete silence in order for you to gain the most benefit from this time together so I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so getting, getting in touch with how you physically feel just being aware of how you physically feel right now. Noticing the sounds around you. Where I am, there's a distant sound of the birds singing in the trees. There's the sound of Andre in his bag. Andre is my ferret. There's the distant sound of a plane for some reason doing acrobatics. You may have sounds in your background, maybe traffic in the distance. Maybe you can just notice the sound of your house or your home. Maybe the fridge. Or a tap dripping. Or something like that. Maybe you can hear your neighbors in the distance. And you can notice on how you, your eyes, notice in your eyes, being aware of, even though your eyes are closed, unless you're sitting in a dark room, you still got some light flickering through your eyelids. But noticing how your eyes feel, being aware the sensation of your eyes. For me, I notice that my eyes feel much more relaxed when they are closed. Being aware of the physical sensation of sitting in a chair or lying down, whichever you're doing. Just noticing that sense that connection with the bed, the floor, the chair, wherever you happen to be resting on or in. I'm sitting in a chair and I can, I can notice the back of the chair. Just gently touching my back. And I can feel the, the chair supporting my weight and my buttocks and my feet on the ground. And all this is about 
focus because hypnosis is focus focusing on a specific thing which in this case is moving forward and living a life where you no longer bite your nails you no longer even think about biting your nails because it's not how you see yourself anymore and as we go forward in this session that feeling of comfort and relaxation and calmness will become associated with you not biting your nails and a feeling of stress and discomfort will now be associated with biting your nails. Therefore, you have a choice. Which do you choose? Calm, relaxed feelings or stress? discomfort just by simply keeping your fingers away from your mouth whenever you have that urge to bite your nails and also what you'll notice from now on is you become more aware of your fingers during the day even in the evenings you are much more aware of your fingers so that you can no longer bite your nails without realizing that you're doing it It will no longer be an unconscious action. There will no longer be any kind of pleasure associated with biting the nails and the skin causing harm to yourself. Because in a way, if you think about it, biting your nails is a form of self-harm. Especially if you keep going and you end up biting and causing your nails and your fingers to become bloody and scabby. And even though there's the obvious thoughts and realities and things to remember about your nails, things like remembering the your fingers really shouldn't be going into your mouth ever unless they are cleaned thoroughly just think about all those people that go to the toilet and don't wash their hands public toilets maybe their own toilets they come out into the world, opening doors, touching the door handle, getting onto buses, trains, walking into shops, shaking hands with people, touching money. And all those germs those germs from their anus that maybe they don't realize they have on their fingers spreading and then you touch that doorknob or you put your hand where someone else's hand has been those germs get into your fingers 
under your fingernails a nice wonderful place to breed more germs and then you put your fingers into your mouth technically you may as well just eat excrement directly from the toilet because that's what you're doing And how does that make you want to put your fingers in your mouth and bite away at those nails, those juicy, tasty nails full of bacteria, full of all kinds of germs, fecal matter, pus, kind of things that could really make you ill. And then there's those people that maybe cooking, cooking chicken, maybe handling raw chicken, cooking in the kitchen, maybe handling that raw chicken and then coming out of their house touching door handles, getting on the train, getting on the bus, spreading what could be salmonella, of raw meat, of raw germs, managing to get under your fingernails, and you put them in your mouth. Don't you then wonder, how much respect do you actually have for your own mouth. Regardless of the fact of how much respect do you have for your fingers if you're biting into them and causing them to be bloody and scabby, causing yourself to feel pain for no reason other than just because it's a habit. And habits are so difficult to maintain once you have awareness. Once you now really, really have a focus, a deep focused awareness of what's really happening of the nitty gritty, focusing deep, looking through a microscope at all those germs. Traveling onto your fingers, whenever you touch a surface that somebody else has touched, There are a lot of people out there that don't wash their hands when they've been to the toilet. What about all those people that maybe change their child's nappies and don't feel the urge to wash their hands afterwards because they're changing the nappies so often and maybe they think a wet wipe is all they need. when what they really need to do is get hot water and soap. And then they get on the bus, spreading those germs, those germs from that baby excrement, traveling underneath your toes <laughs> and your fingernails. In fact, those germs can travel everywhere, I guess. As we're focusing on stopping 
biting your nails from now onwards the idea of even putting your fingers inside your mouth can somehow feel a bit disgusting unless they're clean so from now onwards the only time you will put your fingers near your mouth is when you've washed your hands and cleaned them with hot water and soap and even then the only reason to put your fingers near your mouth is maybe if you're eating if you're eating a sandwich or something like that where you're finger food or something Can you imagine eating a sandwich without washing your hands and that excrement and maybe salmonella and all kinds of things that you've picked up on your journey are all just waiting there on your fingers not only underneath your fingernails but also on your fingers themselves and your hands and then they just spread onto the bread of the sandwich or whatever food you're eating and travel down into your stomach where those germs can really breed even more they love warm places and your stomach's lovely and warm inside your body just like underneath your fingernails and just the idea of it is a bit a bit gross isn't it it's a bit a bit disgusting really And if you thought before you started listening to this and making those changes that the activity of biting your nails was somehow an unconscious action, then I'm here dealing with your unconscious mind. So I can just reverse that by talking to your unconscious mind and asking. From now on, you will no longer bite your nails. From now on, even the idea of biting your nails makes you feel a bit queasy inside. The idea of biting your nails is a bit sickening to you. The idea of putting your fingers in your mouth without your fingers being scrubbed clean. Well, maybe not scrubbed, but cleaned with soap and hot water. Can you imagine those germs inside your fingernails waiting? as if they're waiting there, giggling, waiting to cause you harm. Waiting for you to bite your nails and free those germs into your body. But there's something that changes inside you. When you think about biting your nails now, how does that change? How do you feel different now when you think about putting your fingers in your mouth and biting the nails? Does it feel good? Does it feel a bit disgusting? Does it just feel uncomfortable? 
do you really feel now that this is something that you won't be doing anymore? It's a no. It's a complete nope. Not going to happen. Because our minds can change quite quickly from something being okay to in between being, well, I'm not sure, maybe. Not really thought about it, not really given it that much energy, didn't really care before, wasn't that bothered, but now, as you thought about it and realized that biting your nails is definitely no longer acceptable to you. You've moved to that point in your mind, that place where you would not do something, that place where I, if I asked you, would you do this thing, you would say no. Whatever it is that you would definitely not do. You know, would you cause harm to an elderly person? No. Would you hurt a small child? No. That's a definite no. And if, if it wasn't a no, then you need to seek help. But I'm assuming that would be a no. Therefore, now that you have this nail bite, bite in in that category of something that you would never do it's a very firm no no questions no thinking about it no in fact no discussion no explanation needed. It's a simple no. Because it's no longer acceptable to you to be putting your fingers in your mouth and biting the nails and the skin, causing yourself damage physically as well as ingesting those germs dirt, that excrement that you may have picked up along the way. And I'm wondering right now how you feel when you think about the idea of putting your fingers in your mouth and biting your nails. How does it feel right now? And test it. I don't want you to actually put your fingers in your mouth. I want you to imagine putting your fingers in your mouth right now. And how do you feel? How disgusted do you feel? The idea of biting your nails now. like you to imagine tomorrow doing whatever you would normally be doing maybe you're at work maybe you're with friends maybe you're watching television just imagine doing the activity and imagine biting your nails how does it feel can you imagine yourself doing it or just it's no longer even an option Because we need to test this now. We need to test, future test, to make sure that the feeling of deciding now that you will never, ever bite your nails again. That you will never, ever put your fingers into your mouth 
and bite at the nails and the skin, hurting yourself and ingesting those filthy germs will never happen again. I want you to know that once you really, really, really know that you will never, ever bite your nails ever again because you choose not to bite your nails. Not because somebody told you not to, not because you feel you shouldn't, but because you know that it is the wrong thing for you to do. You know that it is something that you no longer find acceptable. And maybe you can't really figure out how you ever did it in the first place. How you were able to do something like that. Because it's against how you feel now. Because your mind has changed. And moving into the future, maybe a week away, maybe two weeks away, how you feel about biting your nails. And imagine yourself in two weeks' time doing whatever you may be doing whether you're on holiday whether you're watching television whether you're with family, friends whether you're driving whatever the situation may be can you imagine yourself as you see yourself we, are you biting your nails or are you not biting your nails how do you feel in two weeks time about the idea of biting your nails? How disgusted do you feel about it? Is it really something that you still have that feeling that is a definite no, a definite, definite, unacceptable behavior? in your mind. Now, as you move into the future, maybe a month, you can see yourself. Your hands and fingers are all healed up if they needed to be. And now you've got to do that annoying thing that most of us have to do, and that's cut your nails. And just notice how good it feels to know that maybe it's been so long since you last had to cut your own nails and how good it feels to be more and to feel more in control of your life. Because once you master this, once you've now changed the way you feel about that particular behavior, other things also can change for the positive for you now and each day moving forward you can make better decisions for yourself you can choose a different way a healthier way you can choose to be happier safe in the knowledge that you are the one that has made these changes. You are the one that has given yourself permission to move away from nail biting. 
and move towards freedom. And from now on, moving forward every day, you can feel more relaxed and calm. And every time you think about your nails, biting your nails, maybe the past, when you used to bite your nails, you can feel really good inside, knowing that you have made that change. To allow yourself more freedom in your life. And every day from now onwards, you feel more relaxed and calm, physically and emotionally. You can feel wonderful inside. And this brings us to the end of this stop nail biting. Now, thank you for watching. I'm going to count to three just to bring you back and orientate you back into the, into the room, into the now, into this moment. And when you open your eyes, you will feel wonderfully relaxed and calm and you will know a change has occurred because you can feel it. One. Two, be more aware of your surroundings, how you physically feel, feeling calm and relaxed, knowing that when you open your eyes, you'll feel so good inside, knowing that you've accomplished something truly amazing, and you're the one that has done this. Three, open your eyes and you can enjoy the rest of the day feeling wonderful and remember to be kind to yourself. I've been Jason and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.